Gemini, hi. So um, this is going to be a reading for the month of March 2021. And I'll do the reading for you and then I'll close it off with a oracle card. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box below if you want. Now let's see, Gemini. This is going to be an interesting reading. Um, the overall energy for the reading, the Ace of Wands. Um, wanting to move past and create something new for yourself here. It's a lot that's showing up here at the same time. Um, starting off the reading, you get the Three of Cups crossed by the Five of Swords. There's a sense of either spending some time with, you know, people close to you or whatever the case, or just a, it could be a reconciliation energy. There's a lot of self-sabotage around that. Not, not even self-sabotage, sabotage, period. Uh, I don't know on whose part, if it's self, if it's not self, whatever the case. There's deception, there's sabotage around this kind of energy of Basically, the, the energy of the Three of Cups could represent that, you know, two people coming back together or just people spending time with one another, but from a place of love, you know, uh, we'll see what that is. You're focused on something that's very, you know, conf conflicting, very, you may be in the middle of an argument with somebody or there, there's a sense of tension here of ooh, kind of thing. Um, in the recent past, the Four of Pentacles might have not been able to let go of something that could be right now that you're forced to, almost. Um, in your strength, the Ten of Swords, there's an ending to a situation here, definitely. And I don't know if it's something that you want or don't want, it's here, regardless. You know, the more you go against it, if that's you trying to be like, no, 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 it's never going to happen, the worse it's going to get for you. Um, Seven of Swords is coming up in the um, immediate future. Again, an energy of walking away. Eight of Cups is a supportive energy. This is emotional detachment. So there's detachment from every angle I look. There's an, en uh, an ending to a situation from, again, any kind of angle I, I look. And there's the Ace of uh, Wands, that's the overall energy. That means that, okay, something is ending, so something new is about to... It, it almost comes in a spring. Okay, something needs to change right now. Because um, this just happened. The energy that surrounds you, and you may not be aware of it. Um, Two of Pentacles. See, with the Seven of Swords, I'm seeing kind of the same thing. Yes, the ending is here, but I don't see you necessarily fully accepting it, still having at least half of one of your feet in there, at least. You know, kind of not releasing it completely. There's a lot of pain surrounding this situation, and you're hoping for the pain to, to just go away again. There's There's a need for something brand new. And the potential outcome, a lot of healing. It almost looks like, if I were to put it in simple words, it almost looks like a divorce, a separation, uh, whatever the case. It, it, it's coming in as fresh energy of that. And then, okay, time to deal with it. The acceptance part of it. Uh, let's clarify. Let me clarify things. Let's do the Ace of Wands. The Three of Pentacles, the World, the Page of Swords. <sighs> kind of comes in as a partnership or a friendship, so it doesn't necessarily have to be love, all of this. 
uh, but it feels like you're not wanting to give to the situation anymore, even though you still are. You may not want to, but you're still showing up here as, eh, maybe a little. And that could be through, you know, just intentionally going out there online, checking out their profile or whatever the case. Um, you know, that's how you give energy, even though it's not much, it's still there. Um, of course, roles can always be reversed, so whenever I see this is you, it could be somebody else attached to you. Let's do the Three of Cups here. The Hierophant, the Ten of Cups, the Three of Swords. All right, this comes in as a marriage or something that at some point was looking like it carried beautiful energy, uh, but it also carried a lot of pain. And it could be that this commitment here that's shown up is trying to be put back together. I don't know by on whose side, but there's still a lot of pain in there that hasn't been addressed. So that's why it might show up as being deceptive, because yes, you could glue it back, but it's never going to show up as the same with that crack in there, even though it's glued back together, you know? Um, let's do the Five of Swords. So if you don't nurture the crack, the pain, or, you know, pay attention to it, it's not going to last. Super glue is gonna expire. Let's do the Five of Swords here, the Knight of Wands, the Moon, the Ace of Pentacles. <sighs> Somebody's showing up as, uh, nope, not interested in fixing this. I just wanna create something brand new, blah, 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 blah. And why blah, 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 blah? Because I don't believe them because the Five of Swords is here. So somebody's almost trying to prove to the other person, but look what I'm, creating for myself. It's spectacular. It's amazing. Look at me going at it. I don't know who this is. Because uh, it feels like somebody is showing up as having their plan out there and working and they don't even have a plan to begin with, you know, uh, but they're trying to put up that front of... Let's do the five of wands in the focus here. Ace of swords, eight of pentacles, knight of swords. I feel like this is you and I feel like you are possibly trying new things, you know, to work out or trying this experience here or this experience there or whatever it is that you're trying. Um, and I feel like you're, you're, there's a little bit of a challenge there within you when it comes with trying. I do see things working out. When you try something out here, I do see it coming to fruition. I do see it working out. But the conflict within you is possibly that, but it's not sticking. You know, it's not something that I can rely upon. It's not something that I can call my own and go with it and build upon it my whole life, the rest of my life kind of thing. Because it looks like little things coming into play. And you're managing them, you're doing them. But it's not giving you that whole stability kind of energy to, to, to this whole... That's why there's a lot of conflict here that shows up for you. Let's do the Ten of Swords in the Strength. The Justice card, the Lovers, the Six of Swords. Yeah, something pretty unpleasant is happening in this connection here. Um, and somebody doesn't want to deal with it. And their way of not dealing with it might be of finding all sorts of things to distract themselves with. Um, and showing up as, I don't care what's happening here. It doesn't affect me. It does. It does. Even if it's just a little. Even if it's a lot. It does. Um... Somebody doesn't want to own up to how they f truly feel about it. Somebody doesn't want to take responsibility. Uh, but it's creating a little bit of a mess here, energetically speaking. Whoever goes through this and doesn't want to take responsibility. 
Um, for the Seven of Swords in the immediate future, you get the Four of Swords, the Seven of Swords, the Ten of Wands. Uh, healing is calling out to this person. Now, if this is you, and you're experiencing this, and you're saying, no, I don't want to deal with this, eventually you're going to feel like you're cornered, basically. Like, you have to deal with this, you know? You can run away, you know, for as long as you want, but at some point, you're going to have to deal with this. And you're going to want to run again. And the more you do that, the tougher things get. If this is you. If this is them, same thing. You know? Because it feels like one of those situations where you can run, it's going to find you, the energy. Because it's within you, you carry it. You know, of pain, of going through something here. And not even acknowledging it. Let's do the Eight of Cups. And the supportive energies, the magician, the judgment, the will of fortune. This is supposed to happen like this so that this person that's actually walking away so that they can learn and transform and change. This is more for this person's sake, whatever's happening here, than the other person. It's kind of like an agreement between the two of you. Hey, look, uh, you can leave me. It'll suck, but you have to learn all of these lessons for yourself when you do that. And this person is not... Even though they're calling this for themselves, they're calling this situation for themselves. They're not wanting to look at it, at it like that. They're like, no, I don't have to deal with it. Thus, not learning anything from it necessarily. And it's, I mean, it's their call. Um, whoever this is. But it's just gonna feel like shit for them. And they're not even gonna know why. Let's do the Two of Pentacles. And what's interesting about it is that I feel like this person is the one that made the decision to walk away from this. Um, so it, it should make sense that they feel good about it, their decision, but they don't because uh, they're not dealing with it. With how it truly feels for them. Two of Pentacles, they get the Temperance, the Seven of Wands, the King of Wands. Yeah, there's a little bit of indecision here, uh, possibly on your part. When it comes to, because this is not completely done, even the even though the energy is uh, that of the situation being done, energetically speaking, you two are still tied up and you're still giving to this energy. But there's a little bit of back and forth about it. Like, should I give to this? Should I not? Should I give to this? Should I not? Um, there's a whole lot of rejection on your part when it comes to this in terms of, I do not want to give to this anymore. I'm done. But you still are. And I do see you learning things from it, from this whole almost chaotic situation that's shown up here. Um, let's do the Three of Swords. King of Swords, King of Pentacles, the Death card. Yeah, this... I know, I know, it's ending. I'm seeing it all over the place. And it caused a lot of pain. And again, whoever did this, whoever decided this, maybe the two of you agreed upon this together, right? But one of you is definitely not wanting to own up to how they feel about it. It kind of wrecked them. It kind of hurt them a lot. And they're like, no, it's all good. Let's have another drink. I don't care. So this person needs to freaking own up to how they... Not, not to the other person, to themselves. That's where the problem is. And I don't know if this is you, to be honest with you. Let's do the Four of Swords. And the more they don't own up to that, the, the bigger chaos it, get, it gets in here. See the Four of Swords for the potential outcome. Ooh, finally. Nine of Cups, Queen of Swords, the Fool. Finally, some good ass energy. Somebody's healing through all of this. One of you is healing, the other person. 
and it's taken over. So I don't even know if this was you or them or, but the person who's kind of like going against this energy of healing, going against acknowledging even how they feel about this whole situation, they took over this reading. Like, uh, yeah, I don't wanna. And then the other person is showing up like, okay, well, I'll do my thing. I'll do my own healing, it's fine. Whoever is in uh, refusal of doing this is going through a shitty time right now. Um, they'll have to, eventually. Let's see what the universe has. Page of Wands, King of Wands, Three of Wands. There it is. Yeah, they're going to grow up. They don't have a choice. Uh, it's going to take some time. So whoever this is, they're kind of in that process of growing up emotionally, learning things slowly but surely. Right now they're in refusal of doing that, complete refusal of doing that. Uh, and as I said, I do not feel it's you. It could be. You would know. Um, if you were honest with yourself, you would know best. You know? Um, there's nothing you can really do for this person but give them time and space to do this for themselves. Uh, let's see. Let's close it off with the Oracle card from the Oracle of the Unicorns. There's a final guidance card. Support. Ask for help. Get more rest. Nurture yourself. Especially if you're this person. But in any case, um, that's what I have for you, Gemini. Hope this helped, and I'll see you next time. Bye.